Ryan here. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem the Sacred Stone. Last time, Erica and Ephraim managed to reunite and it made the way to back to Freyla Castle. I do apologize for the long wait. The semester stressed me out a whole lot, but after relaxing quite a bit during spring break and getting over sinus problems, I decided let's go and record some more Sacred Stones. I figured out how I can make this work. So anyway, where to go? Wait, this is already stuff we've done. Hold on a minute. But now, Erica and Ever will work away, so which one will accompany? We're gonna accompany both of them, and we're gonna go on a split path. <coughs> So we're gonna go Erica, then Ephraim, then Erica, then Ephraim until they reunite again in chapter 15. So it's gonna be about it's gonna be about six chapters of a split, and then they'll reunite, and we're gonna just continue on the Ephraim path afterwards. So we're gonna go with Erica. to join Erica's group. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Chapter 9, Erica. That's the Tower of Villani, which is nice for level grinding, but I'm not going to do that. Yes, it's very nice for leveling up people, but I'm planning not to do that. It is part of the Malady. But at least you know you can't escape the battle if you think you're going to lose troops. They're monster skirmishes. Yeah, the Malady. But our real objective is to make our way to the port. Erica chooses to travel by sea to the Arkham of Rouster. Her search for a ship leads her to Port Kiris in Cardassino. Cardassino is a young nation ruled by a council of merchants and is an alley of Freyla. Cardassino's council leader, Kimlet, a staunch opponent of Grotto's imperialistic actions. Pledged Cardassino support to Freyla in this conflict. Prince Innes also intends to pass through Cardassino on its way to Jahan. Erica believes there is nothing to fear in Cardassino, but she is wrong. So, welcome to Chapter 9 Erica, Distant Blade. Hmm. 
well, he's gonna take the Wyvern Riders. Although, ugh, Walter's kinda creepy. Very creepy. Iron 
destroyed. Pegasus Knights should not have heavy spears. Lesson one. Ross looks good. Sword 
Steel Lands. Ah! Coke. Ah! What a man! <laughs> I can't I just that. Uh, let's not forget his brother France. Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. He's gonna do Phoebe things. That's a bow. Don't want a bow. I have to be careful where I place Tana, but Tana, but that's easy. Let's heal Tana. Experience. Whee! Because Natasha, as we all know, is gonna need a tons of experience. She's only on four. One, two, one, oh sorry, two, four, Turn this guy. So a few more units have arrived. Okay. Thank you. 
surprising and all that sorts of fun. Oh, and that was a sniper, too. So, I did not even realize that was a sniper. Sure shot activated, Tana would have been dead. When Joshua could double on a steel sword. Here we go, level. Let's see. HP skill. Come on, Joshua, you need a little bit more on the strength department. Just hey! Over there! Dead mage, you mage. And here's a dead lanceman. Dead generic. Oh, that's overkill for me. <laughs> Killing Edge! Lovely! It's 
a few missed one shots to do massive damage on him. Units, but we'll be right back to the second part of chapter two. 